hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to share with you some pieces that transition well for fall it's still warm right now so I have a couple of pieces that I also want to share with you that will work for the weather that we're experiencing now today's video is sponsored by urban revival if you haven't heard of urban revival they have a variety of very classic pieces think tweed jackets and timeless looks they also have very trendy pieces like jean dresses with cutouts so i have several pieces to share with you today from urban revival i've also started to prep for new york fashion week so i'm going to show you some of the new pieces that i have that i plan on taking with me there and i also want to share with you some underrated designers that i think you guys would really be interested in so let's start off with today's sponsor these first few pieces are perfect for the weather that we have right now this skirt in this color is just vibrant and it has the draping and a little bit of a side split this dress is, has like this flare at the hip which i think really separates it from a basic plain white dress and it has pockets so i'm gonna try these on for you so next I have a couple of denim pieces I have this skirt I think this skirt is just so adorable I feel like this is one of those pieces that you can style in a number of ways you can make this really edgy you could obviously wear this very casual run errands effortless if you want to dress this up I would throw this on with some thigh high boots and especially if I wanted to make it work for the fall and then I have this vest so the one thing that I really like about this vest is the darts. I don't know if you can see the darts. Let me get closer up. I feel like this is made so well. It has these seams here. It really kind of sucks you in like a bodice. This could work well as a layering piece in the fall. And then we have this cute little dress. So I'm going to try all these pieces on for you. I'm living that high life. Time to catch a flight but you can make me go. Unlocking all the memories of my new home Ventilated echoes playing to and fro To and fro, back and forth, yeah Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah Tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric, yeah My heart's in stock few more denim pieces they have a similar cut but they are a little different you probably recognize this one it's been viral all over the place the back is out it has these really cool buttons I'm gonna try these pieces on for you as well let me offer help come on inside I'm gonna show you the buttons up close so we have some avant-garde buttons some of these are ears a nose and a mouth here and holding a wine glass an eye so I mean I know the buttons might not be for everybody it's a little bit avant-garde if you want something a little bit more subdued you could switch these buttons out for something that suits your personality a little bit better but I do think this could be a great fall transitional piece if you put a sweater over it put on some boots a cardigan before it gets too cool I definitely think this could work So the brand also sent me this great pair of boots. I feel like these are just a good option if you like the shark lock boots but you want something that's a little less expensive. I feel like this is the perfect alternative. So as you can see those boots have a lot of leg room so if you have a wider calf those boots are really going to work well for you. Right now, Urban Revival has given me a discount code. I'll have it all linked below where you can receive a discount for up to 14 days. So right now is a great time to check out Urban Revival. They have really good prices, guys. So be sure to go to Urban Revival and check out my link in the description box. Thank you, Urban Revival, for sponsoring this portion of the video. So now I want to show you guys a few pieces that I've been checking out, possibly for New York Fashion Week. So there is this incredible pair of boots that Fendi has. I think it's called the Delfina boot. I'm getting ready to go check those out, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. We're gonna have to. I know they're gonna be too big, but I, I just have. Oh my god, they're they gorgeous. Run, they're even more gorgeous in person. Yeah, they run a little small. That's the only thing. Oh, okay. My, so maybe maybe these will work, but we can order whatever you need. Okay. Um, it's the heel. It's right. so nice. Okay, let me try to take these take this off. I'm gonna yeah, stand over here. Okay. You, <laughs> you want me to model and stand over here? Got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they got a modeling today, guys. Oh, okay, okay. We got a model today. Okay, all right. <laughs> there you are, anyways. All right. Uh huh. I'm gonna take can you do around? Like, no, you. Like, oh, the shoe? Yes, yeah, exactly. So, this is pretty. Yeah, these are fab. I have to get these. I have come across some amazing underrated designers that I think you guys should know. One of them is Tony Matasevsky. This is a brand that's based out of Australia. And I mean, they make the most beautiful architectural, like very structured pieces that kind of look like artwork, really. Like the work that goes into these pieces, you can tell that a lot of passion is put into the design elements of how these garments move, how they lay on the body, and I was just so impressed with this brand. I purchased a few pieces from Tony Matasevsky that I'm going to show you. Here's the bag. This dress is a little bit big for me. See, I have a lot of space up here, so I have to take this to alterations. I plan to do that tomorrow, but I just wanted you to at least see how it's cut. I love this brand, the, the structure, the detail, the color of this dress. So I don't know if the camera is showing it like perfectly, but this is kind of like a yellow mixed with like a lime green. It has this little fishtail detail. So vibrant, just a really standout color. So this is a piece that I'm bringing. So this is the next piece that I bought from Tony Matasevsky and this skirt is cut on the bias. It has this zipper detail, this asymmetrical. It has a really dramatic mermaid skirt with a train. I felt like this was such an eye-catching piece. I need to get it altered because I want to take in this train a little bit. I don't want people to step on it. I don't know what I'm going to wear this with yet, guys. I just bought it because I fell in love with it. Now, I'm going to try it on for you with this top, but this might not be what I wear it with. It's just to try it on so you see how the skirt fits. But I definitely have some alterations that I need to do to this skirt. guys you know that I could not go to New York Fashion Week without including my favorite Alexander McQueen this jacket this leather harness with the cutout the leather harness detail in the back I mean when I saw this I was like this feels like a super sexy spy secret agent fashion just assassin so <laughs> I feel like this is just perfection and it's so me and I think this probably will look fabulous with those boots that I picked up but I did buy the matching suit pants to go with this so we'll just see how I'm feeling and what I decide to wear but this piece is definitely one of my favorites. The next designer that I want to talk about is Sergio Hudson. I know some of you guys have heard of Sergio Hudson but I still think he is quite underrated. He makes the most exquisite suits. His designs are ladylike yet powerful and playful especially with his use of color. He's not afraid to use color. He doesn't shy away from it. He uses very striking bold colors to make a statement. He really infuses a lot of prints and patterns into his design work. He also uses traditional color blocking to make some really astonishing pieces. I recently picked up a piece. So this is one of the pieces of his that I just purchased. Now, I know this is simple, it's just black and white stripes, but at the same time, I feel like it has this allure to it where I could style it in different ways to really make some audacious outfits. 
I feel like it has so much potential to really wow and just be a staple in my wardrobe. So I had to get this piece. This is definitely one of the pieces that I will be taking with me to New York Fashion Week. I have some shoes in mind that I want to wear with it, possibly these Alexander McQueen shoes that I just bought as well. So these are the shoes that I just got from Alexander McQueen. They are mesh. They have the strap around the ankle. It has this like shiny leather on the heel and shiny on the toe. I don't know if you can see that there. But I just thought these were going to be versatile. I'm also thinking maybe red, a red shoe, a red bag. I don't know. It's still all coming together. <laughs> The next underrated brand I want to talk about is Simkai. Now, you've heard me talk about Jonathan Simkai several times. You know how much I have a fondness for this brand. But lately, I feel like he's really been pushing the envelope, giving us a little bit more edge in ways that are quite unexpected for him. I feel like his designs are usually quite demure, but lately he's been giving us like more of a sultry femininity with a touch of virility. So I feel like he's really coming out of the box with his designs. So over the summer I wore this yellow dress. This was unexpected for him. His new fall collection is just chef's kiss. I have to show you a few of these pieces. I have my eye on several of them. This crop jacket with the leather accents. I feel like this other long trench coat with the detail on here is just, yes. I'm definitely always going to advocate for Simkai. So definitely check out Simkai if you are looking for pieces that have a modern twist. These are some of the brands that I'll be buying pieces from for Fashion Week. I want to thank Urban Revival for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check the details in the box below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you